Hello students, welcome to the quick solution of All India Cast Test Series Test 1 Physics Test dated on 6th of October 2019 Straight away, let's take on to question number 1 Here in question number 1, it's uh, actually based on a unit in dimension and unit conversion Question is, in a new system of units, the unit of mass equals alpha kg The unit of length equals beta meter and unit of time equals gamma second The value of 1 newton in this new systems of unit is well, here we shall have a small calculation but we know from the SI system of unit 1 Newton means 1 kg 1 meter 1 second square now in this new system of units the unit of mass is alpha kg so simply I would say the 1 Newton here it would be it I shall write it as 1 by alpha when it is the beta meter that means q1 by beta and the time is gamma second that is gamma square that means 1 newton in a psi system would be equal to gamma square divided by alpha beta unit of force in this new system so for question number 1 here option 4 is the correct answer I guess it is very much clear it is just simply the transformation of units Let's take on to question number 2 now. Acceleration versus time AT graph for the particle moving along x axis is given. The velocity of the particle at t is equal to 1 second is 7 meter per second. What is the velocity in meter per second at t is equal to 5 second? So, here acceleration as a function of time it would be 3t plus 12 meter per second square now we need to evaluate how the velocity would be at the t is equal to 5 second that means I shall write it dv is equal to minus 3t plus 12 t integral of this portion well dv ha should have the integral of v here this will be 12t minus 3t square by 2 it has to be evaluated at t is equal to 1 second the velocity was 7 at t is equal to 5 let it would be v so from here now v minus 7 if we put the value of t here 5 and then subtract by putting the value of t equal to 1 we will be getting this value to be 12 meter per second that means v now it will be 19 meter per second so for question number 2 option 1 that is velocity at t is equal to 5 second is 19 meter per second now let's see the question number 3 yet again it is the question of uh, unit and dimension here the distance traveled by an object s is given as s is equal to at square plus bt cube divided by a plus c square where t is time the dimension of b and c respectively clearly s is equal to at square plus bt cube divided by a plus c square here the dimension of A should be of the dimension of acceleration itself that means dimension of A I shall be writing it down as L T square in denominator now clearly the dimension of A here and C square will be same that means dimension of C it will come out to be L to the power 1 by 2 and T to the power minus 1 this is the dimension of C now looking onto the dimension of B I would say here on left side it is the dimension of length on right side I am writing it down B itself now it is T cube and denominator it is the dimension of acceleration it will be L into T square so I will have the dimension of B to be L square T to the power minus 5 so the dimension of B and C respectively looking onto the option now it is option 1 dimension of B is L square t to the power minus 5 and dimension of C is L to the power 1 by 2 t to the power minus 1 option 1 is correct answer for question number 3 now let's take on to question number 4 question number 4 here considering density rho frequency f and speed v as the fundamental quantities the dimension of torque are given as in left side let's say it will be depending upon 
the density is raised to the power a frequency raised to the power b and velocity raised to the power c and if it's coming out to be the dimension of torque we know the dimension of torque comes out to be m l square t to the power minus 2 now comparing the dimension of rho f and v rho happens to be m l minus 3 to the power a frequency t to the power minus 1 to the power b and velocity or speed it would be l t minus 1 to the power c must be equated with m l square t minus 2 comparing all the parameters on left hand side and right hand side very much clear it is that value of a is coming out to be 1 from this point here and for the comparison of the dimension of L I will have here L to the power minus 3 a from here and plus C from here must be equal to L to the power 2 or I can say C minus 3 a must be equal to 2 I have already found the answer for a to be equal to 1 so I'll be getting here a 1 C must be equal to 5 now and comparing the dimension of T on both the side I will have T to the power minus B from here and minus C from here must be equal to T to the power minus 2 I have already found the answer of C to be equal to 5 so from this equation B plus C would be taken as 2 and I will have B as minus 3 so what I got here it will be depending upon rho to the power 1 f to the power minus 3 and v to the power 5 looking onto the option option 4 for question number 4 option 4 is the correct answer now let's take on to question number 5 in question number 5 here the length and breadth of the rectangular plates are measured to be 16.6 and 4.7 centimeter respectively its area in appropriate significant figures is I would simply multiply these two factors as area to be equal to 16.6 into 4.7 this multiplication gives me the answer 78.02 but considering the appropriate significant figures I would say it has to be presented with the maximum significant digits of 2 since one of the factor of multiplier here that is 4.7 it is having the least number of significant digits the answer is 78 centimeter square that is for question number 5 option A is the correct answer